Hi, I'm Kathleen, and I'm from Emmaus, Pennsylvania. Kathleen, why are you here today? Um, I'm here today because I have a story to tell. My life has been quite a journey, and um, part of why I'm here is because it's, it's my own healing. I've never publicly come out and told everybody that I'm a lesbian, but I am now. And um, basically, I, I grew up in a household that was very strict and controlling, overprotective parents, and so it was pretty much predetermined that I was going to have um, a heterosexual lifestyle, being married with children. And it turns out that I did. I have two beautiful boys who are adults now, and um, two marriages that were unfulfilling and ended up in divorce. And it wasn't only until about three years ago I met a woman and I fell in love. And I've never been happier. And, um, and so my story is that now I get it. I get it now. I mean, I grew up in this heterosexual lifestyle and I accepted the gay community, but I didn't understand what it meant. And um, now I understand. It's, it's simply about love. Um, I became attracted and um, just fell in love with this deep emotional connection to this woman. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I initially did resist because of my upbringing. And um, I even went to a shaman for protection. Uh, but in order for me to be happy and, and live my truth, I, uh, I decided to give up this heterosexual, comfortable way of living and live a lesbian lifestyle, and I've never been happier. So I am in the healing process in terms of coming out, releasing any anger, fear, guilt, shame that comes with being a lesbian because we are a child of God. And once we empower ourselves with self-love and self-acceptance, life becomes so beautiful and we need to do that because fear and anger and guilt and shame have no place in our lives. If we reflect to society that we are uncomfortable with ourselves, society will be uncomfortable with us. So we need to empower ourselves, then we can take action and create positive social change and equality. So I want everyone to remember that you are love, you are loved, and we are love. And I believe in you.